Hello everyone, this is a show of my recent Arduino project which I'm trying to implement a Connect4 game on this SparkFun, SparkFun.com's RGB LED matrix. So basically what I have got so far is that I can implement a controller uh, using this Arduino Uno board and some LED and buttons to control the movement of a dot on this RGB matrix. For example, this button on the far right side indicates moving right. So if I press this button, the dot will move right, and the button on the left side here will move the dot to the left side. So if and the button here will move down, and this button will go here will move up and move down. So basically, so far, like this, uh, yes, I can use a joystick, but unfortunately, the joystick I'm trying to use was somehow broken and didn't give me a very accurate read in the analog input. So I use this four buttons to implement a controller that is similar to the function of joystick, but it's not in exactly the same. Um, but what I want to like to talk about here is um, I gained quite a lot of inspiration from um, design pattern class that I took last semester. And I find out that it is very important to develop or design some interface for an RGB LED matrix and the controller and the data structure. So basically, the idea is this is a, mo a model, view, and controller design pattern. And the, the idea is you use the control to send the signal to a data structure. And in this case, the data structure is a 64 um, character array. So that array has 64 characters in it because it's 60, it, it by eight RGB LD matrix. So um, you use this controller to change the value in that array. And then which, which you change the basically the state of the model. And the model will invoke the, um, what I would say, the listener, the view listener, or the, the, uh, or, or the observer, and which will, when, when the listener receives the change of model, it will send out the um, latest uh, data structure to this LED matrix and to show it. And in this case, what I'm doing here so far is I'm by moving the by pressing this button, I am writing change some values in that character array. And the model received that and sent that array through the SPI interface to this RGB matrix. And this doesn't take much very long time to implement, but it takes quite a, a little bit um, time to think about the design and the pattern that you need to use. But all right, that's it. Um, the, the, the in conclusion, design pattern can be very beneficial for your hardware design because design pattern uh, is actually derived from the hardware world. So. But design pattern, when you do Arduino project, you can see that these are modules. These modules are independent and they have an interface in the hardware level. But if you want to use that interface or enhance that interface in the software level, you need to carefully design it. And that can make your project especially project code, easier to read, easier to maintain, and easier to update, and which make your system basically a object-oriented Arduino system. So have fun in your Arduino project, and thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed.